Now we are going to learn to differentiate product of two function using product rule. Let's say we have two function of x, u and v being multiplied together. That is y equal to u times v. I call u as the first function and v as the second function. The derivative of y dy dx is given by First, you copy down the first function u, multiply with the differentiate of the second function dv over dx, plus you copy down the second function, multiply by the differentiate of the first function. That is for product rule, dy dx equal to u dv dx plus v du dx. For example, if we have y equal to 4x squared, time 3x minus 1, we have two function x here. The first function u equal to 4x squared and the second function v equal to 3x minus 1. The differential of the first function du dx equal to 8x and the differential of the second function dv dx equal to 3. Therefore, the dy dx of the product equal to first you copy down the first function that is your 4x square. The differential of the second function is given by 3 plus you copy down the second function 3x minus 1 times with the differential of the first function that is 8x. Next we simplify we have dy dx 4 times 3 I have 12x square plus 3x times 8x, I have 24x squared. 91 times 8x, I have negative 8x. By collecting the like term, my dy dx equal to 12x squared plus 24x squared, I have 36x squared minus 8x. That is my dy dx for the product of 4x squared times 3x minus 1. For information, since y can be easily expanded become 12x cubed minus 4x squared, now we have the difference of two algebraic terms. We can find dy dx by differentiate every single term here. This method is preferred because the working is much more easier. Now we are going to learn to differentiate using quotient rule. Suppose that we have a quotient or a fraction u divided by v. The first derivative dy dx using quotient rule equal to first you copy down your lower function v multiply by the differential of the upper function du dx minus you copy down your upper function multiply by the differential of your lower function then you divide everything by v square. For example if I have y equal to 3x divided by 2x minus 1. I have a fraction here. The first function is 3x. The second function is 2x minus 1. The dy dx using quotient rule equal to first I copy down my lower function that is 2x minus 1 multiply with the differential of my upper function. Differential 3x I have 3 minus, I copy down my upper function, 3x, multiply by the differential of the lower function, differential 2x minus 1, I have 2, then I divide everything by v square, that is 2x minus 1 square. Then I expand this 2x times 3, I have 6x, minus 1 times 3, I have minus 3. Negative 3x times 2, I got negative 6x divided by 2x minus 1 squared. Therefore, my dy dx equal to 6x minus 6x is 0. So my dy dx equal to negative 3 over 2x minus 1 squared. Now I would like you to look at these two functions here. I have y equal to 3 over 2x minus 1 and y equal to 3x over 2x minus 1. 
For the second function, I already differentiate using my quotient rule just now. For the first function, it's not necessary for you to use quotient rule. This is actually a composite function. You may notice here, the upper function is actually a constant. So if you have a constant at the numerator, what you need to do is to change it to composite function. So I have y equal to 3 times 2x minus 1 power negative 1. Then my dy over dx, I'm using the easy version of chain rule, I have negative 1 times 3, I have negative 3. Copy down the inside function here, reduce the power, negative 1 by 1, I have negative 2. Remember to differentiate the function inside, differentiate 2x minus 1, I have 2. Therefore, my dy dx equal to negative 3 times 2, I have negative 6 over 2x minus 1 square. So it's much more easier to differentiate this using composite function instead of quotient rule.